Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays with some more Yoshi's Island. We have four levels left in the original standard game to do before we finish off this wonderful game. I'm going to do it a little differently though. Um, I'm probably going to do these two levels today for this episode and then I will do the bonus of World 6 before I loop back to doing the final two stages of World 6. That seems more fair that way and I want to conclude the game with the final boss. Anyway, let's get started. Let's get started in here. How are we all doing, everybody? Are you ready for the very long cave? I actually don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh boy. Where, uh, where are we going? Where are we headed today, huh, viewers? I do not want to do an incredibly long episode, so hopefully this does not punish me too severely. Whoa. If this is just one of those moments where it's like, it's just a long auto scroller, I can deal with that. I probably will have a better chance of six. Whoa. There. Oops. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Like. A shy guy on fire. That was kind of cool looking. Can we get on this? Nope. Okay. So far, so good. Viewers, I'm Noivis. I don't know. Oh, there are alternative paths. I'm assuming that that is for the most brave. I am unfortunately, or fortunately, depending upon how you look at it. I hate these things. Not one of them. Um. So yeah, viewers, you know what? Let's talk about recent events this episode will hopefully be going out the weekend after I record it which is uh, one of the last weeks here in June summer's here and how about the most recent uh, Nintendo whatever you want to call it game share thing I think they call them directs I don't know why I was kind of putzing around with that word. Um, but yeah, some really interesting stuff coming up soon. There's going to be a remake of Mario RPG, which is exciting. I can say in full disclosure, I've never played that game. It definitely wasn't on my radar for the Super Nintendo as a kid. So I don't have any muscle memory for that, but I... Oops. But I am looking forward to trying it when it comes out. That should be neat. Neat. Um... So that'll be cool. There's that new 2D Mario, the first 2D Mario, I think in like a decade since one of the uh, like the Mario U games that came out for the Wii U back in the DZ. So it's been a hot minute since they've made one of those. Mario Wonder looks kind of cool. It's kind of fever dreamish. We'll definitely be picking that one up when it comes out. Excited for that. And then uh, they give a little bit of an update on Pikmin 4, which is exciting. Of course, you know me, a Pikmin boy. And uh, they just recently ported Pikmin 1 and 2 to the Switch, which is nice. So, quote unquote, HD ports. Um, if you've seen my HD port of Pikmin 2 that I did, it's kind of like that, I guess. It doesn't really look Anything different, it, they've, they've upscaled some of the textures, etc. So, I mean, it's not bad. It It's definitely a step up from trying to play it on a GameCube, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's whatever you're into, I suppose. Um, but yeah, how exciting that you can now play those games on the Switch. How many people had gone through... So many years of their lives not having played Pikmin 1 and 2. Which I think is interesting now. Is Oh, this is getting very fast. Is that, um... Oh, I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Is that uh, Pikmin 1 and 2, you could buy them separately. Or you could buy them as a bundle together. 1 and 2 in the same package. Nice big package for you. And they call the original Pikmin... Pikmin 1 which I find interesting that they have labeled it as such. 
but it's exciting. Obviously, I finished Pikmin 2. I've played Pikmin 3 on the channel. So now if you're a Switch owner, you can have the entire Pikmin Collection 1, 2, and Trace on uh, on one console, which I think is great. And you should all go pick it up. Pikmin, obviously, is one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. A very niche franchise, I would say. But uh, definitely worth it. Okay. I can't really recall the last time we got a bonus, to be honest. But that's okay. Because you don't get a bonus, but you do get 100%. Boom! Nailed it. Okay, one more for the day. Then, like I said, we'll be taking on the bonus next time. We'll circle back to the final two levels, which is crazy that... Oh, a deep underground maze. I had finished the first level in five minutes, and I have a guarantee that this is probably going to completely erase all of that goodwill that I had. Um... I don't know what this wants me to do. I don't... I mean, I see there's a chest up there, but I don't know if I have to come back for that or not. Whoop! Okay. Amaze indeed. Amazing! Yeah, obviously, you know, being a, uh... Pikmin stan? That's what the kids these days say. Oh yeah, that felt good. Being a Pikmin stan is, uh... I mean, I've, I've been playing Pikmin since those games, I believe, first kind of came out, so... I'm a bit of a Pikmin ex- no, I'm not. Um, definitely a lifer, though. I, I've i always really enjoyed Pikmin. I think it's a great series, and... Let me just lick ya. Let me just lick ya. Things you can't say in public. Um, yeah, I've been following the series for a long time, and it's obviously not for everybody, I get it. But it's always going to be very endearing to me. I um, always loved it. Ooh, I don't know how I stopped. Um, I've been playing Pikmin since Pikmin 2 had come out. I played Pikmin 1. I borrowed it, I believe, from a friend. I never actually got a copy of it myself. I did have a GameCube as a child, but um, that's kind of as far as I got when it came to ownership. I would like you to come this way. Can I sneak right past you? Nope. No, 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 stop, quit, no, oh no. Oh, I have to go all the way back around. What a pain in my buns. All because of these dummies. I still can't quite, like, visually parse out what these things are supposed to be. Like, is the, is the, is it like a smile? Is the green thing their eyeball, their nose? I don't know. Viewers, help me out. What am I looking at here? Anyway, so obviously very excited for the ports. Um, I bought the bundle just because I'd like to have both of them. It's a little inconvenient that I had to um, wait such a long time before I could uh, play an official port of Pikmin 1 and 2. Um, you know, obviously that is beneficial because if you couldn't have guessed it, viewers, um, there's a pretty rock-solid chance that I'm playing Pikmin 1 at some point on this channel. All right, I think I need that that stone, actually. That's annoying. Oh, the ghost is gone. Oops. Okay. Where did that stone come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Stone I Joe. There we go. Okay. So I need this. We're figuring it out, viewers. We're using our noggin. I think I have to stop it pretty quickly, actually. Let's get some momentum. Okay, please don't go away. I can still hear it. If you can hear it, it should count. All right, so I need to push it down into the left or right. I don't think it matters. Oh, come on. Mario, get over here. All right, is it still with us? Oh my gosh. I don't think I can kill those things. Huh. Well, ain't that a pain in the buns? What a bunch of rascals. I don't think I can kill these. I can't slurp them, so, hmm, all right. I will just have to time it a little more better. But yes, they, uh, they give a little bit more information. I don't really remember exactly what I saw. And to be completely honest, I'm not super worried about trying to keep up with all the latest, ugh, are you kidding me? To keep up with all the latest gaming news. I know some people love to have 
the social media and everything like that at their fingertips and to, you know, drip over every word and every, you know, whatever you want to say, gameplay video, all that stuff. And they'll do reaction videos on YouTube, which I feel are strange. Um, I don't really know who those are for. Um, oh no, can I not? <sighs> Viewers, can you imagine how this is making me feel right now? If your guess was mildly annoyed, like when one side of your pillow is too warm, you are correct. It's roughly that level of annoyance. Not quite as annoyed as like stepping in water with a fresh pair of socks. That's probably up there even higher, so. Right, let me get down there, yes, okay. We're in good shape here. This is going a little quickly though. I want this to slow down. I gotta pace myself because I don't know where anything is. Get him. Yes. All right, all right, slow down. Okay. I think this should give us enough height. The key! Viewers, we have done it. We have solved the hardest puzzle in the game. So far so good, but yes, Pikmin 4. I am just all over the place with my commentary today. Pikmin 4 is obviously coming out very soon. The end of July, I think the 21st or 20th or something like that. Very excited to play that one casually, very cash. Um, I probably will play it on the channel eventually, but as with all games like that, um, I don't need any help embarrassing myself. And so I do want to play it at my leisure first, and then I will show, share that, I cannot talk. I will share that with the world. Can I just? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm not super concerned with that. But anyway, Pikmin 4 looks like an absolute treat. Um, it's been, it's been a decade since they put out a new Pikmin. Pikmin 3 obviously came out for the Wii U a long time ago which I still feel was the superior version of that game. I know that the Switch did offer a little bit of quality of life stuff, a teeny bit, but I mean, like, realistically speaking, oh, not these guys, um, not in a big enough way to make me think that the, oh boy, that the, the Wii U gamepad wasn't the superior way to, to play Pikmin 3. That's just my personal opinion, which, of course, is subjective, but also wildly accurate and correct all the time, so there's that. Um, but yeah, Pikmin 4 looks amazing. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. Gonna play all of it. But based on the way that my channel has been going with the present iterations, um, you are going to be probably seeing Pikmin 1 before you'd see Pikmin 4. I definitely want to give it a full go through on my own to experience that. And then what is... Why would you do this? Game. You bamboozled me. Anyway. And then you'll obviously see it. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I mean, I've I made this comment before. And I'm actually kind of... I'm guilty of it, technically. Is, um... I think the idea of playing brand new games right when they come out just for the sake of it, for to, the clout chasing, is, um, I don't know, I don't think it makes good content. I don't, I'm not saying that it can't. I'm not saying that it's, that people that play new games aren't good content producers and they're not capable of that. I'm not saying that at all. But I think that there's a lot of channels that do it just for the sake of it. They'll play through the newest games and I don't know. I don't really feel like they're playing it because they want to. I feel like they're playing it just because, oh. Well, shoot, I didn't know that was a thing. I feel like they're playing it not because they want to. Oh, this is like a, like a flamethrower, nice. They're not playing it because they want to. They're playing it because they're trying to beat the algorithm and snag eyes to their channel. And I don't know, like, viewers, let me be honest, I get it. As a content producer, sometimes you gotta do... Have I not been here yet? Um, as a content producer, you gotta do what you gotta do to be successful. But, I don't know, some of those channels feel like they don't really have any soul to them. Alright. What was I... 
already done this. Oh, I nailed it. Viewers, that was amazing. Did you see that? Holy smokes, I sniped that. He's like, do it again. I'm like, nope. Once is all you get for a lifetime. That's how good it was. These guys are doing ha Hadoukens over there. How about ha eat my buttskins? How about that? That didn't work. I tried to be a super cool guy and I goofed it. I feel like the game wants me to stop halfway. There's that that series of yellow butt stop bricks that it wants me to stop with. Oh, I I don't remember getting that. All right. Uh, what about have I done this? This looks new, ish. This underground maze is amazing. Got him. All right, this looks new. Well, I can't go back, so hopefully this is the right way. Maybe? I don't know. Unless this is- yeah, this is just a loop. All right. Can I just pull up very quickly? What's this way? Okay, this is this. This is this. Good commentary. It's like... Alright, no. There we go. Is this different? Okay. No, this is the one spot. I think that this is the one where I drilled down too deep. How am I? Ugh. I'm not 100% sure how the game expects me to do this. And if I don't figure it out in a reasonable amount of time, you'll see a jump cut. Ta da! Alright, so that's a flower. I did such a good job of finishing that first level, only to struggle with the second one, of course. Story of my life. Can I eat you? Why is my tongue so short? Oh, spooky season. Oh, he's got Mary over there. No, stop it. Oh, it's a, it's a, a turd kid. Whatever those guys are named. No, you stay away from me. Hey, stop. Quit. Quit. I wanted to butt stomp him. Oh, he still has Mario. <laughs> oh no, viewers, no. All right, we'll try it again. We'll figure this out. All right, we're back at it, of course. Here we go. It's the one downside to something like this is you gotta start at the gosh dang heckin' beginning, viewers. Ooh. I don't have any eggs, though. And you get no eggs, so... Let's make haste here and try to get back at least to where we were. That is very, very annoying. Oh, I don't have any... Ugh. I have no way to do this. Oh wait, I can just headbutt this. Never mind. Let's kill these boys. Okay, he kind of ran into that. That was not my problem. He ran into me. All right, get him. Blah 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 blah. No, 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 no. Too much blopping. Too much blopping. Come back. If I could do the stone portion of this in one shot, I would be so grateful. To not have to do this more than once. All right, all right, all right. Hang tight, hang tight. How about you come back? Hang tight. That's a very cute animation. I'm gonna get some eggs. Some eggs. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. All right, let's not get too crazy, though. Yeah, this, uh... Chain Chomp Stone is basically like a... a like a giant nuke. Just kind of kills everything. Yes! Viewers! One and done! You're welcome. We did it. We knocked out all the baddies in the process. Okay, so that took me 30 seconds compared to the original attempt that I had where that took me many, many seconds. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, we are, uh... We're on to phase two, obviously, as you can see. And we're gonna do our best here. I wish there was like a more consistent way to know when things are breaking down and like how you stomp through this. 
I really gotta figure out how to do the next part of this. I don't know how to do it, viewers. I don't know how to do it. Oh, these dummies. I really don't like these either. Can I bust off you to death? I like that sound though. Yes. I will figure this out someday. Yeah, I feel like I need to. Ugh. Like, there's obviously the thing up there. I just don't know. Oops. Imagine getting hit by one of these dumb ghost shy guys. Dumb. Alright, come here. Fireball boy. Can I take this with me? I don't know. I feel like I need to... Okay. Is there a fire boy around here? I don't need eggs. Eggs? Okay. Yeah, there's gotta be like a trampoline or something around here, right? Like, not just this one. I'm talking like... Further along. Oh no. Oh no! Alright, come here. Yes. Nuked him. Okay. No, stop. Sounds if I kill you. Oh, he is impervious to fire. Do I get anything for that? No, I did not. Okay. Um. There's no real way to get up here, though. That's my problem. Unless I can hit it. Ooh, maybe I can hit it with the egg? Uh, okay. I mean, I feel like I have to just keep trying that. Oh, that looked promising, didn't it? Didn't it? Um. How does this game expect you to do this? Uh, I mean, it looks like it wants you to follow the arrows. I tried that. This is going to be one of those things that's very simple, and I'm just f kerfluffling it up because I'm stupid. Okay. So I did. Straight up. Viewers, we've done it. We have figured out the second ultimate puzzle. No, stop it. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I was gonna say, I knew that there's gotta be something to stop our momentum here. Ooh, this makes me nervous. Ooh. Uh, okay. How do we... How do we get that key? All right, so... There's a... How do we get all that heckin' way up there? Unless there's a way to... Uh, I don't know where that is. I hope that platform stays alive for me. That would be amazing. How do you, How in the good gosh darn, viewers? Of course, there's one final key. Um... Huh. Wow. What a crazy level. I gotta figure out how to get that key, though. I gotta get that key, though! Alright. I don't need you. We will figure this out. So this all loops back around. Um, where did that, where did that key go from? I cannot imagine where that was. Get out of here. You and yours. All right, so there's more of these. That's nice. Yeah, this maze. All right. I don't know. Have I gone too far, viewers? Maybe. 
I just know that I need to... There's gotta be some way to grab that key. I just don't know 100% where that is. Yeah, and that resets entirely. That's a pain in the buns. Ooh, that was a slick dodge. You have to have that key, right? Like, I think. That's what it looks like to me. Am I overthinking this? Probably. Story of my life. The classic overthink. D-Mike plays here to make industries. If you're not overthinking, you're underthinking. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would just very much love to be done with this level. This is not feeling very compelling to me anymore. And I mean... I mean, same thing, right? Okay, that makes the platform. Then you jump up and around. You bring it around town. But the problem that I have with this is it doesn't show you how to get the the key that you need to open that gosh dang door. Yeah, you need to come up from the bottom somehow. Okay, but how do I get there? How do I get there? It looks almost like... It's definitely in this... realm of... objects. Oh. Was that all I had to do? Okay. I thought that was going to be way more complicated than that. Sorry, that was... My brain was getting a little dramatic. Started to panic, but I figured it out because here at DMIC Industries, there's no quit until uh, we figure stuff out and stuff. All right, great. So now we can go all the way back around. It's kind of crazy though that I am figuring this out the way that I am because I am notoriously bad at uh, pretty much anything involving mazes and puzzles and this and that. But we're doing it. For the third to last episode. I don't know what that's called. Obviously there's the penultimate. I think it's like anti-penultimate. I don't remember anymore. Okay. A little more. I'm gonna go all the... No, 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 not now. Oh man, if I had to reset this level from there, I would have... I'd be having some words. I'd be having some poo-poo words for myself, I know that. Alright, here we go. Please be the end of this level. I have no more patience for this. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's massacre... these things, a little genocide, never hurt anybody. Oop, there we- oop, I missed. I missed. Whew. Viewers. We did it. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's just get the H out of here. Woo! 100%? Yes! Okay! That was not as bad as it could have been. It was not great, but anyway. So next time, we will do the bonus, then we will circle back to the final two levels of the game, and we will finish off Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sunday's Yoshi's Island, and I will see you next time. Bye!